What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Run Good Life coming back at you and today we are busting four 2020 Bowman Mega Boxes. Uh, these are all of the rage when it comes to Bowman retail. Uh, these are going for $20 if you can find them on the shelves at your local Target. Spoiler alert, you probably can't find them on your shelves at your local Target. Uh, these are the hot item. Some Targets have started instituting a two uh, per person maximum. I don't know what you guys feel about that. I'm not for or against it. Uh, I think it's kind of silly that you can go and buy just about anything you want in any quantity, but apparently trading cards do have a limit. Uh, so that's interesting, um, but nonetheless, that's not why we are here. We are here to hit some big mojos out of these. These are the 2020 Mega Box. All your good names on the front. We are going to get four 10 card packs of Bowman Baseball. No autos, no parallels in those, but we are going to get the exclusive two card Chrome Mojo Packs. Bro, what are you talking about, man? So look at what those look like. Let's go ahead and start busting these while we talk about the product. So. The Mojo Packs are the real selling point of the Mega Boxes. I do expect in the future these will be worth a ton of money um, because it is very hard to not keep these. I did manage to pick these up on the secondary market before they kind of shop it up in value a second time. So I think I paid $36 per or so. So we are definitely a little bit above MSRP or actually almost double MSRP. MSRP $20, but again, you cannot find these anywhere on the shelves. Also very tough to buy off a website, Target.com. Uh, you can pick these up on StockX if you want. I think the price is a little over 50 a box. Uh, also eBay, probably gonna be your best bet. Um, or Facebook groups or Twitter or something like that. Those are also good channels that I use to find my product when I can't find it in the store. So uh, we are gonna go ahead and save all of these for the end, and uh, which means, spoiler alert, you can just skip through this part if you do not wanna see what is in these packs. <laughs> um, these packs are not going to have autos, they are not going to have uh, autos or parallels, but what they are going to have is a chance at Jason Chromes, Jason Dominguez, Bobby Witt Jr., you know, the big names, um, and uh, just add to our Chrome stash. So, get through these really quick. Well, Jarski, Julio Rodriguez, Hunter Green, Chromes. No inserts as well, I believe. Maybe inserts, we'll see. Maybe we just were shorted an insert right there. I have not opened very many of these, so it is a fun rip. I've not done a whole ton of Bowman. Tyler Freeman, Ryan Mountcastle, Story Bias and Reynolds. So you really do not buy these mega boxes for the Bowman packs. You can get better pulls out of your you can get better pulls out of the gravity feeds in the fat packs actually. So Luis Robert rookie throwing cards everywhere. We will get through these. Logan Davidson, Cabrian Hayes going to be on those chromes. So, with these packs, you're really just kind of not really free rolling because you, you're basically paying 20 bucks for two Mojo Chrome packs. And we will talk about those in a little bit. But let's go ahead and get through here. See if maybe we can get lucky and hit some Dominguez, Wit, or Pawson, Madrigal, and Cam or Daz Cameron on those. Paper Bowman rookies, not going to be worth nearly as much as your Series 1 and Series 2 rookies. So Kyle Lewis, for example, not going to be worth that much. Uh, Montero and Pardino on those chromes. But even the Yordans, even the Bobachettes of the world, probably only going to be worth about a dollar or two tops. Just because it's a smaller checklist than like flagship tops, so you're hitting a ton of those rookies. Ian Anderson, Hunter Bishop... Casey Mize, Bobby Dalback, but unfortunately not a first year chrome on that Dalback. So, it'd almost be worth it to uh, not open these and just hold them for later. So maybe they go up in the future, but we will go on the hunt for Jason Dominguez chromes. Um, also, just nice to add the Bobby Witt Juniors, the Possons, the Yon Diaz's, guys like that. Just nice to add to your stack. And uh, because I've opened so much of this both on my channel and on stream, I do have a nice growing stack of those right now. So, Seahawks and Helio Ramo is going to be on those chromes. And Kikuchi. Diaz, Puck, Vaughn, Anderson, Evan, White, 
Kane and Smith, Austin Beck, we have not been doing well on the chromes in these, so burn through these and we will get to the main event. Bradley Horner, Hunter Green, Marco Luciano, Adam Hall, and Luis Gill on the chromes. And we got shorted a card there. Seems to be a common recurrence getting shorted a card or two on the papers. But it kind of sucks that these don't even have the chrome inserts, so... So, I do think it's kind of stingy on their behalf because there are some nice names in those inserts. Evan White, Christian Javier, Justin May, Escobar. So, you can hit that spanning the globe. You know, there, there's some good inserts. Jason's in a couple of them. The, the 1990s are really nice. Is Xavier Edwards first. Sardonia's first. Three firsts right there. Jacob Amaya, that's a good chrome. So, hit one good chrome so far. That's really the only... The only hit out of these standard packs so far is that Jacob Maya first. But again, with these, you're really just hunting for the top three names. Denneberg and Col Colton Welker. Munoz. Again, no color, no auto, so... Nothing really of note if you don't hit those two. Grant Levine, Seahawks again. Trout Lindor. Helio Ramos and Leotis Tavares. Muncie and Chapman. Throwing cards again. And final pack of the base of Bowman packs. Bichette, Lewis, Duran, good name on there, but that's just a paper. Ooh, good chrome. All right, so final. it took till the very last pack, but we went ahead and we got the job done. Uh, this is kind of like the bonus, if you will, because, again, you're really just buying these mega boxes for the mojo packs, but to pull a Jason, uh, going for over 20 bucks, probably over 30 bucks still, um, did dip down a little bit, but, you know, we did hit a couple nice chromes and a paper, Jaren Duran, out of there so overall not too bad this is a nice little stack again of prospects that we get from all of those packs so probably worth it to open them also you don't want to be scummy and sell them uh, on the guys that people can hit nice stuff because they really can't again it's Jason or bust so here we go we have our eight uh, mojo packs these are what's gonna be all the good stuff oh my god okay it's happening everybody stay calm what's the procedure everyone what's the procedure, what's the procedure? Stay uh, typically, you see about one pack that may or may not have color. Uh, I've done a couple of these boxes. One had a gold. One didn't have any color. Autos are going to fall about one in every eight boxes, I think that's what I saw. You can also hit all the standard mojo colors. Some pretty hard hits. Black 101s are in here. Not super fractors, but black 101s. You can hit reds, oranges, golds, all the good stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. we got to savor it because we rushed through that. Now we got to savor these. These are this is what you this is what you're paying money for. So look on the side, no color in this one. So Zach Brown, Debbie Garcia, Aaron Savale. We also have Cabrian Hayes and Nate Pearson. So again, these four cost me about thirty-six dollars each. Looking at about a hundred and forty-five dollar rip or so. So. Hopefully we can find something in here to at least break even, if not come out ahead. Wander is going to be a nice right on the front. Also, I see a purple in here. So Wander, worth a few bucks. Also have a Luis Garcia, sweat out the purple. Damon Jones, Chris Valmont, Luis Garcia, and our purple is going to be Brady McConnell to 250. Is he like the 22nd round draft I, I mentioned once? No, nope. second round pick for Brady McConnell of the Royals. In one of my past videos, I jokingly mentioned 22nd round draft pick, and he actually, I think he was either a card or I referenced him, but funny stuff. First chrome right on the front, going to be Ruben Sardonia, so would rather be hitting firsts than not. Again, typically kind of just see those. What, what's that insert? That's Rookie of the Year. You see a lot of those in here. I think that might only be the insert set in this product. So, Ruben Xavier Edwards, another good name. This kid has a little bit of hype to his name. 
Dylan Cease going to be the rookie of the year. Pens Kraus and Brian Mata. All right. Pack number four. Again, this is going to be a shorter video. I thought this might go long, but it seems like four mega boxes is about the right number. Shirt and Apostle on the back, so we know we. Ooh, auto on the front, too. I've never seen an auto on the front before. Uh, so that is interesting. Auto on the front of Joey Cantillo. So very interesting to have an auto on the front. Uh, usually it's in a third card, third slot in the pack. Um, but we will take it. First auto from a mega box for me. I wish the name was a little bit better, but we will take it. We also have a Nico Holsizer first Bowman. Also a Jackson Rutledge first Bowman. Drew Waters and Shirton Apostle. So Shirton definitely has a little bit of hype to his name. I love the look of these cards. Kind of has that like toolboxy, like mojo. Kind of looks like a metal surface, if you will. So I really like the pattern on here. Uh, go ahead, put that Cantillo up top. Actually, we will just set that there because that is a very nice. Hit. Eh, it's a it's a decent hit. Wish the auto name was a little bit better, but he does have a good auto. I will give him that. And most people don't look at the, the quality of the autograph, and I do. Good name on the back right here, Luis Robert Prospect Card. So, very nice. We have O'Neal Cruz, Aaron Shortridge first, Jordan. So, maybe we're not going to hit prospects, but we did hit a couple pretty good right there with the Luis Robert as well with the Jordan. And our final card in the pack, going to be patchy. So, Christian Patchy, he had a lot more hype a couple years ago. All right, three packs left. Now, of course, we will do a recap. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. So, again, hitting some good firsts. Always, always would rather be hitting firsts. Matt Manning. Dayson Brown on the Spanning the Globe. Christian Javier and Ulrich Berjarski. All right, two packs left. Let's see if we can pull something. We already pulled an auto. Let's see if maybe we can, and we pulled a color, so we pulled that purple. So maybe we're not drawing dead. Maybe we can pull something decent out here. Another Jackson Rutledge. It's always funny how you seem to pull multiples of like the not so big names. I wish just once you pull like two big names, but that's just how it goes. Colton Walker. Brewster, Brewster Gratterall on the Rookie of the Years. Shirton Apostle again. And Jacob Amaya. So pretty good name on that Jacob Amaya. I'd say those are two of the like middle to top tier names. Of course, not the top three names. Still looking for a top three name out of a mojo pack. So this is going to be our last chance to, last chance to make it happen. And... Yeah, I'm seeing an auto here. And it is upside down. And a Bobby Witt on the back. Wow. So, something is backwards in this pack. But Bobby Witt is going to be a very... Oh, my God. This might be, like, the pack of all packs. So, we have a Jason and a Bobby. A Jason and a Bobby. And I think there's an auto in here, too. This is this has a chance to get crazy, guys. Debbie Garcia. Maybe it's just a backwards. I can't imagine. And a Shea Langlayers. What a mojo. What a mega box right there. So, three big hits. Uh, I'm probably going to guess we made our money back and then some. Uh, but let's take a look at those three hits. Go ahead and get some pennies out. Shea Langlayers is a decent name. And the auto is pretty decent too. I thought, there, I, thought I saw some... Uh, I thought I saw some streaking on the auto. So there is the Shea Langlier. Very, very nice. That is going to be our second auto. So definitely beat the odds. Much better than the Cantile. We also hit a Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Mojo. Very nice as well. And of course, the big one. The one that everybody is looking for. Jason Dominguez. So... That was a pack for the ages. I felt like we were a little bit behind, and then we all got it back. We got it back all at once right there, basically, and then some. Uh, that was much nicer than I ever could have imagined. Uh, so that is going to do it for the video. I guess we'll do a little bit of a recap, but, I mean, all of our hits were basically there. Um, 
go ahead and show you what else. We did hit the Jason as well, the Chrome Jason, so really, really good in the Jason department. Jacob Amaya as well. Uh, purple of Brady McConnell, Wander, and Shirt and Apostle, a couple of those, but big story here. Two of the top three names, we hit the mojo, so these Mega Boxes were pretty hot. I am going to do one more video, one more Mega Box video where we do the exact same rip, so be on the lookout for that. Don't know if it's going to get much better than this, but we will certainly try. That is going to do it for today. Uh, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can catch when that video goes live. And that is going to do it. Stay safe, take care, and we will catch you next time on Down the Road.